Hi Mike, uh, as requested a quick video to show the difference between uh, these two uh, spectral instruments cameras. As you can see this guy has the uh, parallel interface and the two coolant ports. Um, I guess one's in and one is out. Um, it is an 800 series camera, you might be able to see it um, on the top there um, and uh, kind of interestingly the fan on the side is a little different um, it's obviously an older unit because the power connector the guy that assembled it the stickers on it say 2016 um, this is the camera that is similar to the one you have with the fiber interface but as you see, there's no um, coolant port. Um, and you see the black uh, little one inch fan that's in there. And as you can see, just there, it's an 800 series camera, too. Um, the other difference, uh, well, obvious difference is uh, they have these type of uh, screws and um, Alan over here so let me I'm not going to completely disassemble the cameras I'm just going to take the covers off so that we can see what the difference is in this area um, because I remember when I replaced the fan on the other unit with fiber there was actually quite a bit of empty space here so I'm guessing we'll see something interesting here so let me uh, start taking off uh, the covers and I'll come back. Okay, I got the cover off. Uh, somehow the um, wiring for the fan in this unit is kind of wrapped around the, um, the vacuum valve in there. So it's actually, uh, I can't actually get this cover fully off. But um, from what I recall, uh, this one is very similar to the uh, this is the one with the fiber interface this one is very similar to your unit and the other uh, fiber unit that I have downstairs that whose fan I replaced um, I guess there's no surprises in, in here it's all stuff that you've seen in much more detail than I have um, on inspection, the uh, the fiber camera is quite a bit different to to this guy. So you can see the um, parallel interface board. Um, obviously, it's going to be uh, because of this, uh, this connector. Uh, it's going to be uh, a bit different. Uh, this board is um, looks more or less the same. Uh, this one is a four five five three rev a Xilinx part, and actually so is this one. Um, I think the only difference between the two of them may be just this board and this back plate and then obviously the coolant the uh, coolant lines so i'm kind of curious uh if um if i exhaust my options trying to get this uh, parallel interface working i may try swapping out this uh fiber interface into this unit and seeing if i can get the camera to work um, around this side everything looks the same and then obviously with the coolant lines running into the camera I can't really see where they go but it's possible that they run it's possible that they run into the heatsink into this um, heatsink 
and I'm not a hundred percent sure and uh, maybe that's how they get the heat out um, everything else everything else other than those coolant lines looks uh, more or less the same so I'm thinking that I might be able to just swap this board and uh, see how it goes uh, the, only, the other thing is um, I think this is a 50 way connector and on the PCI card there's a 68 way connector and they have some kind of scuzzy cable going between the two just so that there's enough conductors um, the one the cable that I have for this camera is about three feet three feet long which is going to be quite a bit of a uh, challenge to get it mounted on um, an optical system because uh, three feet is just that would mean that the computer would have to be actually physically be on the uh, telescope which um, uh, that's not something I want to do not unless I find a really small form factor PC with this 133 megahertz um, and with 133 megahertz PCI bus I haven't looked but you never know maybe maybe uh, maybe I will come to come to the rescue um, other than that yeah I think this board is the only difference and if it is I can actually manufacture another backplate that will take these coolant lines and let everything else pass through but will let uh, this fiber interface pass through oh, just a couple of hours messing around downstairs in the uh, in the shop I should be able to get that done or alternatively I can drill holes in this one to get these ports through there's a whole variety of things I could try um, I think that's it anyway um, if I uh, if I don't really have the inclination until I get this camera working if I can um, if I can't then I'll do a more I don't have an inclination to take it apart until I can prove that uh, that I can't get it to work and if I can't then I will try swapping out this board after examining the other boards to make sure that they're more or less the same and then um, I'll be able to figure out where exactly these um, these uh, coolant lines go anyway I hope this was informative and uh, let me know if you have any questions bye